Roger. Today, we're gonna go out and find little free libraries, both in Seattle, but they're also all around the world. You will find them scattered all around, not in one central location or a handful of branches spread out around the neighborhoods. What if you only had to walk down the street a block to browse a smaller version of a public library? and it contained two dozen books instead of so many volumes that you're overwhelmed and can't decide which book to pick up. What if some of these libraries were the size of birdhouses or of a dollhouse? What if you never had to worry about having a library card or ever paying a fine? Sounds too good to be true? Well, this type of library already exists and it's becoming a worldwide phenomena. Little free libraries can be theme-based, cater to local book tastes of regular users, and can be placed nearby schools or universities or none of the above. It seems the only thing preventing more of these handy libraries from springing up in every city is for people to first hear about the idea and follow through with making it a reality. With a little more imagination and perspiration, it's easy to imagine a fairy tale version of a library popping up on every corner in the country. If you believe in it strongly enough, a small library the size of a bird house could appear in a pea patch next to a bike trail or in a local park near you. Book lovers are a hardy breed and they will find a way to share knowledge. In a time when government spending for learning and literacy programs is being cut back, this seems like the country's way to learn and promote open minds through literacy is happening. The people involved in the movement point out how this is an enhancement to the traditional public library and not meant to replace public or institutional libraries. Started in Hudson, Wisconsin by social entrepreneur Todd Bull, Little Free Library is a connection between free access to books and literacy promotion coupled with DYI woodworking. When word spread through Wisconsin, its founders formed a nonprofit group and Little Free Library has turned into a worldwide book sharing and social movement. Today there are Little Free Libraries in at least 28 states and six countries. Seattle alone has 263 of them. It's reached as far as Canada, Mexico, Australia, Ghana, and Afghanistan. In June of 2016, there were 40,000 libraries worldwide. Maybe one will pop up just down the street from where you live. Thanks for coming on the road today and checking out the unique little libraries that are spread out throughout Seattle and the world. If you have questions about real estate in general or little free libraries, I look forward to hearing from you.